Now, before we get to our Today in History, we do have a little contest giveaway to talk to you about. Good. So you could win two tickets to see the Ultimate Beatles Tribute Band in Fairfield, Iowa on September 18th. Now, all you have to do is log on to heartlandconnection.com for more details. And, of course, you can earn more entries by sharing it on Facebook with all of your friends. It started on Saturday and will run until the 16th, so you have plenty of time to get your entries in. And we also want to let you know we're going to pick four winners. That's a better chance for you. And, uh, again, log on to heartlandconnection.com for more information, and uh, good luck. All right, Fab Four Tribute Band Ticket Contest. It's my Ringo impression for you. You don't even know who Ringo Starr is. No. He's the drummer. I'm sorry, was, I'm not. He was the drummer. He still drums, but not for the Beatles anymore, obviously. All right. Well, I feel really young, so you should feel old. That's what Wikipedia is for. Nah. <laughs> you can learn all about the Beatles. Nah, it's fine. I'll I heard they're good, so that's all. <laughs> you heard they're good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all right. They're a little popular. They're, they're okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe they could have maybe changed the course of music history, something mm -hmm. to that effect, something like that. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Good. Hope they're not the day in history today. Today is Wednesday, September 17th, and guess what? Well, you just told me, but you still want me to guess? Maybe this is something different. Okay, um, I don't know. Go ahead, just tell nothing me. Nothing clever? No, no okay. nothing clever. Sometimes it's best to remain silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. We have four lucky winners from our contest giveaway. Ah, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. We've only been talking about it all week, and mm -hmm. I say all week as if it's Friday, but it's only Wednesday. Well, all week thus far. Mm hmm And we'll continue to do so right now. Exactly. Are you going to read them in a British accent as Ringo would? Would you like to? I'll alternate with you. Well, okay, maybe you can repeat after me. All right. Just so fine. everyone can kind of get okay. it right. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. Sometimes the British accent's hard to understand, <laughs> especially when I do it. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Oh, just like Ringo. I feel like I'm playing uh, an octopus's garden right now. Mm -hmm. And stop. Enough with that. All right. Carla Sanders. Carla Sanders. Fawn McCain. Fawn McCain. Margaret Martin. Margaret Martin. <laughs> Kathy Giberson. And Kathy Giberson. That was pretty good. Thank you. It's a really strong accent. I don't well, there's, you know, a, England is a big, big place. There's, mm -hmm. you know, there's different dialects all over. Yeah. Just where, you know, like where I'm from, everybody talks like this a lot of times. And really? then you go a little farther to the north and it's like, hey, we're in the north now. So, you know, but it's all English. No, people Not up in so the much. north don't talk like that. Well, I've never been to Minnesota. I'm just going by what, what I've seen. Or, or the movie Fargo. <laughs> up you in would. North Dakota. You would go off of movies. I would. Mm -hmm. I would and I do. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you for that awesome accent. And again, congratulations to the lucky winners. We have emailed you, so look out for that. And uh, details will be in the email. And even the email is, is the, the text is, is British, too. Mm -hmm. So when you're reading the email to yourself, you can read it and... In a British accent. Well, actually, we had Troy record his voice, mm -hmm. and he reads it out. Yes, apologies in advance. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take a quick look back at history? Oh, yes. I almost forgot about history. I don't know why. I just well, my, my English accent is pretty distracting, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's, I can't blame you. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. On this day in 1959, people in China, Japan, and the Philippines experienced one of the most devastating years for Pacific typhoons. About 2,000 people were reported dead as a result of the typhoon. The 1959 Pacific typhoon season featured 33 tropical cyclones and of those 33 tropical cyclones and 65 total areas of investigation, 18 storms reached typhoon status which was below the yearly average of 19. A few of the storm names were Wilda, we had to throw in Wilda there, of course. Ellen, Hope, Iris, Opal, and Babs. Babs. I like Babs. That's a good one. Opal. I had a cat named Opal one time when I was a baby. I had yeah. a cat named Babs. So there you go. Yeah? No. No, because no, your cat was cat. I'm not a cat person. We yeah. went over this oh, yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Not very clever. Oh, well. But yeah, so that's a quick look back at history for it's you. It's interesting because over in uh, that part of the world, hurricanes, mm -hmm. what we know as hurricanes, are called typhoons, but it's all the same thing. And same thing with a cyclone as well. Mm -hmm. Then down in Australia, they call it... Like something willy. Hmm. Yeah. 
I'll look it up yeah, and I'll, I'll, up. I'll, I'll give you the answer before the break. Okay, well mm -hmm. in the meantime, let's uh, look at some weather. Yes, let's see what's going on with the Heartland highs for today. We're really looking great over much of the, of the area. A line of showers in central Missouri could give the southernmost portions of the Heartland a quick shower, but there shouldn't be any problems too much with that. All in all, we're looking really great out there. 71 today in Sigourney and Kiyosakwa, 72 in Mount Pleasant, a little warmer down south in Macon at 75 today. And coming up, we'll see how long this warming trend will stick around. And we were just talking about hurricanes. How is a hurricane out west going to impact us? We'll talk about that coming up in the full forecast. Samantha, back to you.